Without any further ado, boys, here we go. So now that we've done half the water pack opening, so now that we've done half the water pack opening, we're gonna continue with our gold player, with our jumbo rare player pack, boys. I'm spitting water everywhere. That's what she said. But uh, wow. All right, boys. So without any further ado, let's freaking go. I'm gonna spend that 100k. Wham, bam. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Give me someone. Give me someone. Snyder. I got freaking Wesley Snyder. Are you kidding me? Wesley Snyder as my best player? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? And look at all these, dude. <laughs> look at all these duplicates I got. Oh, man. Damn, dude. I mean... Wee 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 wee! What's happening, boys? Svebak HD here, bringing you another player review. This time we are looking at man of the match, Diego Forlan. But before we get into that, I just want to briefly address what you saw before the intro. Uh, that is the 100k jumbo pack that I opened today during happy hour. Each account is only awarded one, and I got absolute shit in it. I got Wesley Snyder, and that was about it. I'll be lucky if I get, like, God, I'd be lucky if I get back 30k out of that pack. So that was a 100k pack. I'm pretty pissed about it. But that's the game of pack openings, man. You never really know what you're going to get. You never really know what you're going to get. But anyway, um, before we get into the player review, uh, I just want to briefly point out, this is a pair of Pampers. This is what I wear during my stream so I don't have to go to the restroom. Click this pair of Pampers. If you click this particular pair of Pampers, you're going to subscribe to my channel. And what are you going to get when you subscribe to my channel? You're going to get player reviews. You're going to get Road to Glory. And starting tomorrow, well, today, you're going to see this today, freaking pink slip matches. I'm going to try to do two a week with big name players. I'm talking man of the match Forlan, possibly man of the match Torres, uh, TOTS players new and old. Um, but anyway, that's what I've got planned. So if you subscribe, welcome aboard. If not, hope you enjoy this video, guys. Cheers. All right, guys, so I'm going to be speaking over some overlay footage here. And right off the bat, the first thing I'd like to say about Man of the Match, Diego Forlan, is that when you choose the formation, choose a formation that gives him assistance in the way of having a striker up there with him. I'm running a German-Uruguayan hybrid 4-2-3-1 um, with Forlan as the lone striker. This is a mistake. You do not want a formation that has him as a lone striker. He's not fast enough, and especially in the world of FIFA Ultimate Team, as we all know, pace is the difference maker. So right off the bat, his his pace in this regular card is 68. The upgrade is 69, just one point. His regular shooting is 84, man of the match 87. Passing 78, 81 new. Dribbling 83, 85 new. Defense 43, 44 new. Um, now, where we really see some significant changes, as you can see below, are in the finishing. His finishing is now 91, up from 83. Long shots 93, up from 85. Uh, shot power 92, up from 84. Volleys 93, significant upgrade up from 85, and his stamina takes a 20 point boost, so he's able to last longer. That's what she said in game with a 20 point boost. He's now at 80, was 60. But guys, um, the one thing that I am, the point I really want to make is the same thing that holds true for his regular card holds true for his man of the match card, and that. You need to pair him with another striker. If you're planning on using him in FIFA Ultimate Team, pair him with a Cavani, man, because you need someone pacey. If you're trying to compete... Now, don't get me wrong, man. Forlan can blast them, man. He can rip. He can take shots from distance, and that really is his MO. So if you're looking for a player um, that can take shots from distance and, you know, bury shots into the net, he is that guy. But if you're looking for someone that can single-handedly change a game as a striker, Forlan is not that guy. And at 140k, 130k, where he's going on average, you have to really, you probably have to be a huge Uruguayan, Uruguayan fan, uh, De uh, uh, Diego Forlan fan to pay that money because I personally think that he is not worth the 140k I think the stats he has he's worth somewhere around you know 30 40 maybe even 50k lower than that but uh, I don't think he's worth the full 130 
And then another important thing to note, as a striker, he is only a three-star skiller, so that leaves a lot to be desired. He's not going to be razzling and dazzling anyone, uh, but he does have five-star weak foot. All right, boys, so that ends this Diego Forlan Man of the Match player review. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, or subscribe. As always, look forward to bringing you guys new content. Cheers, boys.